All right, so I'm making this video because I had a hard time finding out how to use loopback with Ableton Live. And I, I should clarify, loopback that comes with the PreSonus Quantum HD8. And they talk about it, but the videos only always say you can do it, but they don't show how to do it. And the videos that do show how to do it, they show the old universal control that actually has a drop-down menu where you can enable loopback. But there's nothing like that in the new quantum uh, universal control. So I'm going to show you what I have in universal control. I save this as a scene so that in case I get lost and forget how to do it, which I did, I can always go back to the scene and they'll and it will do it back where I where I had it. So if you see there's there's really nothing going on. I have my bass hooked up to uh, channel one so that's why it's making that noise. Um, I have this, I don't know why it's spitif. I don't have spitif hooked up, but I do have loopback enabled over here. Okay, so that has something to do with it. <laughs> and I'm not, you know, real, I don't know everything about it. So that I have show all digital, show all loopback. So maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know. Because I've been going to the forums and everything, and everyone says, yeah, you just do this, this, and this. Well, mine doesn't have all that stuff. So you can see Quantum HD8. This is the new one. Uh, nothing here. I, I'm just going to turn that on because, well, it's not doing it now. But it what it did stay blue. I don't know why. Well, maybe because I dropped it down below. All right. Oh, that's why. Okay, now I get it. All right. So that's down. This is recording. Let's see. Universal control is there. Okay, here are my settings for the PC. I have my microphone for the input. I have my main LR for two Quantum HD8. That seemed to be the one for output to make this work. So let me show you what I have in Ableton. So for Ableton Live, to do loopback, instead of going to Osio driver, I have it on MME Direct X. For audio input, I have loopback 1, left and right, 2 Quantum HD 8 DX. For audio output device, I have main, left and right, 2 Quantum HD 8 Wave. So up here, I just put it on uh, 1 and 2 for stereo. I kept this off because otherwise it'll loop back and I'll have feedback. So I'm going to play a YouTube video on my other screen. I don't want to show it for copyright reasons. And uh, it's, it's this basis that I really like. It does slap bass. I'm just going to prove to you that this works. And then I'm going to play it back. So hopefully it'll pick pick it up. I don't know if it will or not. If not, you can just see this. So we'll see. So I'm going to turn on the video first. No, I'm going to turn on record first. Then I'm going to turn on the video. Challenge Davey 504 to a bass battle. Davey 504? Who's that? Right. So let's see if it record. I know it recorded, but Let's hear the audio part. Davey 504, it's like bass battle. Is it recording? Yeah, it is recording. So, so it's the same um, volume. So if you're like trying to find a, a song on YouTube that you want to reference or someone sent you a reference or something, you want to put it on your DAW so you can um, use Neutron or something like that. And you want to you want to use AI to uh, mix it or something? You know, that's what this is. This is what I use it for. So, 
Hopefully that cleared some things up. Thank you. Goodbye.